liberals and fellow intellectuals, this is Reason, that voice in your head you should listen to, and today is the 300 subscriber Q&A. Now, I realize this is a late upload, and I wanted to make sure you all had ample time to leave questions, and I was short on questions, but I expected that seeing as my channel still classifies as small. But that's not to say that I don't appreciate the support as much as it is to say that it's the first step in this channel's long journey and I'm glad to have you all here to join me. So without further heartfelt rambling, let's get this started. Daniel Ziger asks, what's your opinion on Hans Hermann Hope? Well, if you were wondering, I haven't read his books, so if you have a suggestion, please let me know. But as for his beliefs, intriguing to say the least. His Covenant Communities idea doesn't quite respect one's right to self-ownership as he doesn't believe people in said communities should be allowed to advocate for non-libertarian values and those doing so should be physically removed. To which I would have to say that if you want to advocate for something you should be free to do so, but no one is obligated to listen to you. As for physical removal, that should be reserved for those who violate the NAP through violence such as, for example, Antifa and other violent individuals who would impose their rule on others. I would say more, but I would have to do more research before I can give you my full opinion on hope. Sky the Elf asks, how evil are you? <laughs> <sighs> well, seeing as most people look at morality as subjective, I'll use today's standards. I believe those who do harm to others should face justice of equal measure to what they have done. So if that's evil, then I guess I'm evil. Probably a mistake asked, was there a specific event that convinced you to start your channel and do what you do? Nice job on 300 plus subs. Love your channel. Great question, and thank you. I couldn't get here without all of you guys. And the answer is yes, actually. So during last year's presidential campaign, I was pretty hardcore Republican. But as the events of the year unfolded, I started to see both sides had such a hatred for each other and not very much love for the country as much as a hatred. And it made me strive to look for, well, other skeptic channels to see their opinions. I started with Undoomed and from there I was able to find other channels like his and I eventually made my way to uh, Mr. Dapperton's channel. And I started to learn about anarcho-capitalism. At first I was a bit skeptical myself, and the questions that I would think about were like, how would Americans protect themselves from foreign invaders, as well as what would be the standard ethical behavior, and how would unethical behavior be dealt with. But as I watched, I started figuring out how the system worked. Finally, one day, Dapperton featured Hoodie Demon on his channel, and I wanted to see what he had. The video was, ANCAP gives 18 facts status need to know. And I watched, and he made a very logical argument against the state. But me, being me, I like to read comments and argue from time to time. And this is where I met the comrade known as Twist. His argument wasn't very great, to say the least. And he decided to make a response video to Hoodie. Now, after I saw his argument, and he made fun of Hoodie's video and character, he decided he to uh, make a video and said basically his was going to be better. To which I proposed a challenge to see whose video would get more likes. Simple to say, I won. But that's how my channel started. As for my friendship with Hoodie, it basically started there, and me and him have been friends ever since. Now, as for the original comment debate, most of what Twist said is gone, but what I said is still here to this day. If you want to see my refuting of his video, it will be linked in the description along with a few other things. You won't be able to find Twist video as he removed it. I did have one more question, but the original creator removed it, so I don't know if they still wanted it answered or don't. So if you do, if you still want your question answered, I'll cover it in the next Q&A. Just let me know. Now that we've gotten through this small list of questions, I have a few of my own. What would you like to, the subject of my next video to be? Communism, anarcho-capitalism, melting snowflakes, or another collab? And if so, with who? Granted, I have a few friends that have larger channels, but I have yet to talk to everyone, so please keep that in mind while suggesting collabs. And even if they are larger, I'll still ask, but I'm just saying no guarantees. As for the next Q&A, prepare for the next 100 uh, sub milestone and if you don't have the ability to comment here feel free to tweet me at my twitter handle at i am reason with the hashtag hashtag reasons q a 
and I'll save them for next time. Thank you all for helping my channel here and on VidMe, as I've been seeing the sub count increase over time. It gives me hope for this world. Well, I enjoyed this Q&A, and I hope you all did too, and I appreciate the support and congrats from all of you. The links, as always, will be in the description, and I'll see you all in the next video. And remember, stay reasonable.